All right, thanks, Ashley. The world is ramping up for the Summer Olympics in Tokyo. Hundreds of American athletes will be on the international stage in the competitions of their lives. Here to talk about the heart of the athlete is Dr. Paul Thompson, Chief Emeritus of Cardiology at Hartford Hospital. Doctor, welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So tell us, how is the athlete's heart different than a more sedentary person's heart? So, you know, the heart is just a specialized muscle. So if you use any muscle, it gets bigger and it gets stronger. So the uh, heart of an athlete is just a bigger, stronger heart. Now, how the heart adapts depends a little bit on the sport, weightlifting, and strength sports in which the heart has to work against resistance because of the increased blood pressure tends to thicken the walls of the heart, whereas endurance athletes tend to have a dilated heart or a bigger heart so it can eject more blood with each contraction. So big and dilated for endurance athletes and kind of same size but thicker walls for strength trained athletes. Interesting, I didn't know that. All right, tell us about myocarditis. What is it and how common is it in athletes? So if you have laryngitis, you have an inflammation or infection of your larynx or pharyngitis. If you get myocarditis, you have an inflammation, usually from a viral infraction of the heart muscle. Now, as I said, it's usually from a virus, but we have seen myocarditis very rarely from the uh, vaccines. So it's something for people to be aware about, but uh, quite frankly, um, I'm concerned that people are more afraid, of my, more afraid of myocarditis than they are of COVID. So it's not a good reason not to get vaccinated. There's a very low risk of myocarditis. Myocarditis generally comes from viral infections and can come from COVID itself. And it's very easily treatable, doctors have been telling me. So there's that for the vaccine. Yeah, the, the COVID infection, the, the, the myocarditis from the COVID vaccines is simply watch and wait because it usually goes away and it's quite mild. Okay. All right, doctor, what kinds of tests are elite athletes getting before and during competitions like the Olympics? Well, you know, elite athletes test themselves every day in training, so they don't really need a lot of additional cardiac tests. But what they're getting a lot of tests of right now, of course, is for COVID because that's the real concern whether COVID is going to interfere with even these Olympics. All right. What is athlete swoon syndrome? So athlete swoon syndrome is actually something I named about 30 years ago, and a lot of other sports cardiologists like the term. You know, there's a lot of stress on athletes, especially in some families, a lot of pressure to succeed. And sometimes athletes have symptoms simply because it's easier to have, psychologically, it's easier to have a medical problem than to say, I don't want to do this anymore or tell your dad you're not interested in participating. So the athlete swoon syndrome is a kind of a syndrome that you see in some athletes who have problems during competition, often not during training, and it's usually related to psychological factors. Now, it's the last in a long list of diagnoses. You don't want to say that the athlete is having sort of reactions to the stress of, of exercise until you make sure it's not really a cardiac condition. Okay. Dr. Paul Thompson with Hartford Hospital, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.